Okay, hi everyone. Welcome to the another video of Postman series. So today in this video, we'll see how to send the put request. So, so far we have seen the get request and the post. So by using the post request, we are able to create the records into our database. Okay. So when we use the post method, so the status code was coming as a 201 for the created successful created records. Okay. So then we seen the get method also. So now we are going to make the update, right? So update in the sense, either you can use the put or packs. So there is a difference between the put and the packs. Today in this video, we'll see about the put, okay? So put, it basically, the method is used to update or replace an existing resources on the server, okay? So let's take example uh, of creating membership ID in any, any uh, uh, retail stores, okay? So when you approach the first time the retail store, so if at all, if you don't have the membership ID, so they will collect all the information and they will create one membership ID for you. Okay, that is called post. Okay. So after that, whenever you go to the next time, the same uh, retail store, so they will ask you the membership ID or they will ask you the mobile number, right? So to retrieve your details from the database, that is called get, okay? So after sometimes, like if you want to uh, update any, anything uh, like a change of address or mobile number or anything, right? So there it will come as an update. Okay. I don't want to create a new record for because of I have changed my mobile number. I have, I mean, I have changed my address, right? So rest of the things are same. I'm just want to do make the update on my address or any anything mobile number or something. So for that, we have to use the update in the record. So that is being updated through the put method. Okay. So we can go here. So this is our base URL. So make sure your server is running all the time. So this is our base URL. So let's paste the first base URL. I mean, this is a URL. Okay. So put. So put is always has request body and it will have successful response body also, okay? So when it is come to body, so this is a body. So just select the raw and JSON as a format. Okay. So now we have a lot of user ID here. So I just delete this one. So when I look for the complete user list, so we were having this many lists, okay? So there we have just gone into where ID equal to double one two, okay? So this is ID details are coming. So here my name, mobile number, skills, everything is there. So what I have to do, I have to update this record. Okay, this is a record I'm going to update. So now I want to change the mobile, I mean, mobile number like, so from this to something else. Okay, and I want to additionally add some skills also possible. So here I can do the J meter. Okay, additionally, I can add the post name. So here also I'm going to add the country. So after this, uh, let me add uh, the date of joining, okay? So this is also string. So now earlier it was looked like this. So we have changed the mobile number and we have updated a couple of skills and we have updated this uh, count country and we have added the date of joining also, okay? So when I make this request, you can see it is coming as a 404. So anything on the 400 series, it is a client error, okay? So what is the error here? So we have multiple requests in the get method, I mean the database, right? So we have almost around four, four or five resources that is available in our database. So now when you make the request, it is coming as a 404 not found, which means the resource that you are going to try to update, it not found, okay? So the requester resource could not be found. So which means you have to explicitly tell for which resource, for which resource you are going to update, okay? So in that case, in the path parameter, you have to tell the path. ID. So here we are going to update double one two user. Okay. So when we make this request, okay, we can see as a 200, 200 in the sense, 
it is success okay sometimes uh, you might get as a 202 or you will get some 204 also so 202 is accepted and 204 is no content which is similar to 200 where the, the request is accepted but they don't have anything to show you okay so display i mean uh, response back in the response body okay so 202 accepted which means whatever the request that you have sent it's being accepted by the server and 204 also it's a no content so which means the request that you have sent it is accepted but i mean the request does not have any response body to display okay that is what the 204 no content and 202 is for accepted so sometimes you will get for 202 204 for the put or pass method okay so now we are able to access i mean we are able to update the record so how do we confirm this back so again if you go to the get method if you send this request now we can confirm this okay this is being updated right now i can see the additional skills and the country as well as the data join okay so this is how we'll make the put request so put is meant for update okay so update in the sense like a update or replace so now for example so earlier uh, wherever you go now now uh, i mean uh, it has to update your mobile number and other card. there are a lot of link is happening in the personal details right so let us assume some of the government or, or some government has already my details. Okay, now they want to additionally add one more attribute, like some personal ID. Like, like for example, they want to add the PAN card or other ID. Okay, so now what they can do now, they can make one more attribute and they can add it. So that is what we have done for the data of join, right? So we have additionally introduced this resource, I mean, this attribute. Okay, so what does it mean? without changing my existing resource, okay, without uh, uh, updating anything else, I just want to insert one more attribute, okay? So that you can do via the put method. And you can do the normal update also, if you want to change something. So from this, I'm just changing to test name, okay? So when I send this, the record will get updated in the server. Okay, so if I go to the get method, So it is getting updated, okay? So this is what the put method. So when you make the put request and the request URI endpoints to the existing resource, the server must completely replace the existing, I mean, complete that resource with the enclosed new data, okay? So always the put method required body and you will have a response body as well, okay? When it is come to put method. So there is a, I mean, um, difference between the put and the patch. So patch also it is for the partial update. Okay, put is for complete. Uh, you can you can re, I mean, replace and update also. But when it is come to patch, there is some, I mean, uh, difference between the put and the patch. Okay, so the response body you might have in sometimes in the put method. Okay, so sometimes you will directly get like a two not four or two not two. That is also acceptable. Okay, so which means the changes that you have done, it is made successfully. So you will get two not the possible status code for the put method is. So you will get two hundred, okay, with response body. Okay, otherwise you will get two not four, which is no content. You will not have the response body. Okay, you might get two not two, accepted. So which will not have the response body. Okay. So most of the time you will be seeing 200 okay with the response and the 204 with the no content. Okay. So these are the status code you will get in most of the time in the put status, I mean, in the put request. So what else we can do in the put? For example, I want to remove this complete skill array. Okay. So I want to remove this complete array object and I want to remove this data of join. Okay. And I want to add something else. So for example, I want to add the age. Okay. So I want to put it as 24. So in the address also, for example, I can remove everything. I just want to have only the country. So this is also possible. So when you remove everything, what happens now? It will go and, and replace our all the data. So now earlier it was like this. Okay. So now when I send this, now what happens now? The existing resources will be, I mean, the existing attribute would be deleted. Okay. It will not maintain the remaining things. So for example, uh, we were using 
uh, I mean, we were updating our, our voter ID, our driving license the database, right? So nowadays, no, we are, we are updating only the other number, right? Our PAN card, because everything is integrated, right? So you can see, I mean, rest of the things are removed. Rest of the attributes are removed from our object. Only whatever the new things that you have sent it here, that is being updated. So now if you go to the get method, if you check this, you can see only those details are coming, the new updates, okay? So now if I delete this, and if I look for the entire records of the testers, you can see the remaining things and all, it has all the details like the skills, address, everything, right? So this is the one we have made the new update where everything is being removed, okay? So put this for partial update, sorry, not partial update, replace, replace and, and you can, uh, I mean, uh, update and replace, okay? So you can, you can update the resources, okay, with, with, with the change of attribute and you can remove the attribute and you can add as well, okay? So this is what the put is all about. So we'll, in another video, I mean, in next video, we'll see about the patch method. Thank you guys.